Okay. What's up, you boys? It's Chivo here with another. I don't even know what the hell we're doing. We're just talking. I'm the one it's playing. Chivo. We're just having a podcast, I'm basically, while I record we're myself a playing Minecraft. We're having a podcast while this faggot plays with his bricks. Oh yum. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'm looking at the images for the Carcano rifle, and yeah, it looks stupid. It's really small, just like the Italian. Yeah. It's got yeah. It's it can fit six rounds. Um, and the points are rounded. They're still rounded to this day. Bro, why would they use rounded ammunition? Legit, the last rounded I ammunition don't know. Is too hard. was used in the Civil War. Because math is too hard. Math is they too have hard. To they have they had to round up. Shut up. I <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> One of the photos I see of the Carcano is just a Carcano sitting on top of a Kennedy slain on Dallas Street newspaper. Yeah. Can, why the hell are we... What the, the, why, why have we made the Carcano rifle synonymous with killing Kennedy? I don't understand. I, I don't understand. Wait, you know what's funny? I just realized. Yeah. The Carcano... It, it kills in two shots, right? Yeah. But he only uh, had, one. had one. Three no, it's Kennedy <laughs> got shot. In Kennedy got shot twice. He did? I thought it was yeah. only one in the head. Once, one, he got shot in the back once, and then he got shot in the head, because his last words were something along the lines of, I've been hit, and then he died. <laughs> Yo, did you hear about, um, in, um, West Berlin when what's-his-name went over to give a speech and a balloon popped and he said, ha, missed me? I think it was pre- no, no, it wasn't Truman. Oh, so one U.S. president mm -hmm. went over to Western Germany to give a speech about, um, them coming back together. And there was a loud pop. It was a balloon popping in the distance and he ducked down and then went up to the mic and laughed and said, ha, missed me. <laughs> ha! Imagine that was a real gun that he made. This is he takes another shot. Aha, uh -huh, missed. <laughs> 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 I, I, I could imagine. I could imagine just being there for that, uh, for that speech. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Irony. Irony. I don't even know what. So I can't even think of what to impersonate it. So I'm just thinking of like the default president voice, just like, ah, missed me. It's like crazy old man. Ah, 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 you didn't get the crap. Eh, 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 get your rifle off my lot. I call and pull the. I have never done that voice in my life. I don't know where that came from. I, you know, every time I've done a new voice, I always say that. Every time, I always say, I've never done that before. Where did it come from? I'll tell you where it came from my throat. What am I, stupid? Of course it came from my throat. Just, I, I look up. I look up. I look up, what does the Carcano use? And everything oh, that wait, pops back. up, just Lee Harvey Oswald's Carcano rifle, shooting it today. JFK assassination rifle, Carcano Wikipedia. Was it even a rifle? Are you considering the Car Carcano. Was it even JFK a rifle? facts. Yeah, it was a rifle. It is a rifle. Yes. Oh no 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 no! <coughs> I fell in lava. What? I fell in lava. I'm playing Minecraft while recording this at the same time. I I I know that. <laughs> I'm really. What I'm actually gonna. Carcano I'm actually gonna start to? this. I'm gonna start this as a podcast. Oswald is. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait, a little maker. Wait. Hold on a second. Listen. Okay. So I I I've typed in what did the Carcano use? Now here's one of the autocompletes for it. What did the Carcano used car? What? What? <laughs> Search dealer inventory today. For a certified pre-owned Ford. <laughs> 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 Hold on, wait. 
Okay, my buddy, uh, he just, <laughs> he sent me a message that said, we're just gonna say I'll sell you, and for some reason, in my dumbfounded, giggly state, I typed, I'm clear. <laughs> <laughs> Question mark in return. Question mark? I'm clear. <laughs> Is he talking Help. to your judge? <laughs> I want your drug addiction. I'm clear. <laughs> Ow. <coughs> I'm just hoping my laptop doesn't turn off randomly because my battery overheated while I'm mid recording. That'd suck. <laughs> you gotta fix that. I really We're gonna do. lose so much footage because of it. Like, I can handle. Why do you think your battery is over? I don't- mm. I don't think it's overheating, mm. I just think I may have dropped my laptop while I was in my book bag a little harder than I should have. And you it may have it moved all. the battery out of place. Oh, just sit place. It'll shove it back. It works with Xboxes. <laughs> An Xbox no, is a really, different it thing. Does. I know it does. I've done it on my Xbox before, but laptops are different. Yeah, laptops battery. <laughs> Yeah, okay. laptop's um, batteries are a lot more sensitive. You know, you know how I said I typed in, wanted the Carcano used car? Yeah. Okay, what? so we've got CarMax, so we've, got, we've got we've got used cars for sale near you, used cars for sale, and then we've got John F. Kennedy assassination rifle, <laughs> and then yeah, we've, got the, really we've got the same link again, we've got Shooting Illustrated, we've got the Battlefield Wiki, talking about the Carcano. Jesus. Uh, I wonder yeah, if it's gonna mention and I'm gonna click on it. Let's see if it mentions anything about killing Kennedy. Kennedy. Hey, once you're done with that search, let's um, change topic. What even is margarine? What is margarine? Why? Margarine? Isn't it like oil, basically? Just essentially oil? How the hell do you spell it? M A G I M A G I A I got it. R yeah, I I think I know how to spell it. What even is margarine? I know it was a butter okay, margarine during World War Two. Do you mean margarine? Do you mean margarine? I it's call it margarine. Mar it's margarine. Some people call it different things. I call it margarine. Okay. Well, anyway. Um, it's a spread used for flavoring, baking, and cooking Even that was made in disgusting. France. It was made in France in 1869. It was created by Hippolyte Megamorin in response to a challenge by Emperor Napoleon III to create a butter substitute from beef tallow you want to know for something the hilarious? armed forces and lower classes. You want to know something hilarious? <laughs> I know exactly what time period th th this was. It was because this was the same time period Otto von um, Bismarck. Bismarck was legit just assaulting France right now. Yeah, it, it's it's almost it's almost a wonder how you would know what time period it is because it's it's almost like I said 1869 or something like that. No, I, I just heard Emperor Napoleon the third. And I was like, oh, didn't he just well, absolutely congrats. wreck? I also said 1869, big brain. I did not hear that. I am also big brain. Alright, big brain. Did you know Germany formed in 1871? No. Big brain? Are you serious? You live. You you were born in Germany. What are you the talking about? The only real Germany that I formed was America. 1937. That's the only true Germany. <laughs> came to power in 36. <laughs> like, the only children... Margarine <laughs> originated with the discovery <laughs> by French chemist Michel Eugène Chavol in 1813 of margaric acid, itself named after the pearly deposits <coughs> of fatty acid from Greek whatever the hell that says or whatever the hell that says. Meaning you don't watch it. You might get demonetized pearl, even though nobody will ever advertise this says. video. Meaning palm tree. Yeah. 
hence the relevance to palmitic acid. Hmm. Scientists at the time regarded marge mar acid like oleic acid and stearic acid as one acid set in combination for most in 53, the German structural chemist Wilhelm Heinrich Hein analyzed margeric acid as simply a combination of stearic acid and the previously known palmitic acid. Hmm. Emperor Napoleon III of France offered a prize to anyone who could make a satisfactory butter alternative suitable for use by the armed forces and lower classes. French chemist Hippolyte Megamoris invented a substance he called oleomargarine, which became shortened to the name margarine. Megas Morris patented the concept in 1869 and expanded his initial manufacturing okay, operation for fat commercial success. Sorry. In 1871, he sold patent to the Dutch company Jurgens, now part of Unilief. In the same year, a German pharmacist, Benedict Klein from Cologne, founded the first margarine factory. Benedict Klein Margarine, producing the brands Overstars and Mozzarella. We could die instantly. John Steele. <laughs> John Steele wrote in his 1850 California Gold Miners Journal, I became acquainted with Mr. Daniels from Baltimore, who manufactured butter from tallow and lard, and it looked and tasted so much like real butter that I could not tell the difference. This man's However, never However, he butter. deceived no one, sold it for just one. He never explained the process of its manufacture and whether he was the originator of Olamarin, I do not, I'd put you dead. I do not know. It's the the principal r raw material in the... want it to be. <coughs> Make it sound like it. The principal raw material in the original The principal raw material the has been used for my ...was beef fat. In 1871, Henry W. Bradley of Binghamton, <coughs> New York, received U.S. patent one... One hundred and ten thousand six hundred and twenty-six. Once you just fall unconscious, I legit thought he fell asleep. I wouldn't put it past him. I wouldn't put it past him. I legit thought he fell asleep. Man, you <laughs> documentaries are boring. And you do you want it to be a bit more enthralling? Make it scary. Make me jump Let's out of my chair. Let's talk about the Spanish Civil War. Henry W. Bradley. Of being <laughs> <to> New York. <laughs> the Spanish Civil War. You you, you received U.S. patent one hundred and ten thousand six hundred and twenty. The process. The cream. Margarine. Tiny vegetable oil. Cotton seed oil. With animal <laughs> fats. <laughs> with animal fats and say. It's, 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 you know what? I'm getting tired of reading about margarine. I'm gonna look up actual creepy pastas. Any any suggestions? <laughs> the margarina. <laughs> what? The margarina. Margarina. Creepy pasta <laughs> margarina. Is that actually a thing? Please yeah, tell me yeah, it, is. Thing. It, it is. <laughs> 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 <Yeah, he's too. laughs> you retarded. Oh, Jesus. It's. There are videos about it. Oh, no. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> it, it's not a. It, it's not a mac pasta. It's a bunch of creepy pastas doing the macarena. <laughs> Can you please put one of them in the Discord server, please? In the Discord chat? Yeah, yeah. I got. I, yeah, yeah, I got. Macaroni. 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 Don't even yeah, worry macaroni. about it. I got you. I just. Yeah. Oh lord, this one looks like it's gonna be Cancel. just great. Questionable. Questionable. Qu questionable, indeed. 
Indeed, it's very questionable. Get the hell out of here, files. Files, I'm not looking to do anything with you. Files. Does this have a stroke? <laughs> no, I held my lip and then spit it back out. Do you guys think I should drink my lens? What? Your I mean, I'm not gonna do it, but do you think I should? No. Here we go. Here, here's the link. A link to drink lens cleaner. Yeah, that's the link right there. Creepy pasta macarena. Have fun. What the? Yeah, I don't bloody know. Stop. <laughs> I couldn't click stop. It, it cry out of the screen. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Bro, I'm really just doing tedious oh. Minecraft stuff while we're talking about margarine. Mm, yum. <laughs> yum. That's the good stuff. Yum, yum. Margarine fun. Okay, yeah, seriously yeah, though, I mean, do we do, do we have any creepy pastas that I can like? Um, that I can read. Have you heard about the um, flying spaghetti monster? It's an actual religion. I I I I less in creepy pasta, and I got crappy pasta. <laughs> <laughs> crappy pasta. Bro. That's gotta taste awesome. Bro, this, this pasta is real Have you ever had a Bro, I was, I was just, I was just looking up how to make pasta for Halloween. Crappy pasta. <laughs> Bro, this pasta turned out real crappy, man. <laughs> okay, top 500 ranked stories. This ought to be. We'll just cut gas. Or whatever the first one is, okay. sorted by average, sorted by average rate. Creepy of rules. Whoa! Average Jesus. rating nine point twenty two. Do not play. Don't <laughs> don't stray from the inst. You know what? I'm gonna click taste a random pasta. <laughs> taste random pasta. All right. Mm. That's literally what it's the and it's loaded the Farnsworth experiments. Do some creepy sand. Have you, hey, what about the Russian sleep experiment? You may have heard of the Farnsworth experiments. My dad was one of the scientists involved. He rarely talked about it, and when he did, he always said the rumors were overplayed. The team tried and failed. Nothing more to it. <coughs> what is this exactly? Hold on. And when he did, he always said the rumors were overplayed. The team tried and failed. Nothing more to it. He seemed to get annoyed at me asking him. When I, I got, I'm not gonna. I got other things to do. Hmm. I, I hold on. Not right now. <laughs> hey, should we move to the? To the, to the server chat, so we can put some creepy music on over it. Sure. If you guys want to join our server chat, just tell me. It's pretty retarded sometimes. I almost died. Mm. Is he in here? Mm. Yeah, he's here. Oh, okay, there he is. Can one of you guys go. message Skyler to see if he wants to join in on his phone? Yeah, you continue reading the creepy pasta. Hold on, I'm doing something. He 
Okay, cle ooh, diamonds. Sad violin music intensifies. You mind giving creepy five? It was 1944. The Germans okay. pushed back. My pants were line. undone. No there we go. Africa. My pants were undone. I was scared. <laughs> I was scared. My grandma. You may have worked experiments. My dad was one of the scientists in the fog. He rarely talked. And when he did, oh, full screen. And when he did, he said he always drove. Can we get rid of the team tried and failed. Nothing more to it. He seemed to get annoyed at me asking him about it. When I kept it up, he eventually told me a brief account of what happened. It was the mid '80s, and he was living in Albany, New York, yeah. pursuing his PhD. This was a year or two after. He began work on a government-funded research. The experiments were to be done under absolute secret. The goal was to test a 15-year-old hypothesis that previous to this point seemed untenable. If it were true, then time travel was possible. They spent nearly a year working on the project, known only by his name, codename Farn. They tried and tried but found nothing. Then the project ended. There were no deaths or disappearances. There were no strange events around the region. The reason the government denied the project's existence was purely embarrassment over funding something that in hindsight seemed so ridiculous. It felt good to know the truth whenever I heard someone retelling the story. I wish I could tell the real version, but I promised that I wouldn't for the sake of his career. For the next few years, I didn't really think about it. It was one little story among many sitting in the back of my mind. I went off to college, lived life, and never gave it a second thought. A few months after I graduated and for the Thanksgiving of 06, Dad still lived in the same house that was maybe 10. Thanksgiving this year was smaller than years before. It was just me, Dad, and my older sister, Kim. It was a normal Thanksgiving meal. Peas were short supply, but I never much liked them anyway. Looking around the table, I felt deja vu. We all sat in our usual chairs, clustered around the part of the table not covered in papers and screens filled with incomprehensible equations. It's nice to be back. Just when the meal was drawing to a close, there was a knock on the front door. I went to go open it. It was a man, maybe 60 years old. He looked very worn out. His grayish hair was a mess. He was unshaven. My dad came over and said, Bill, what are you doing here? The man walked in and shut the door behind him. Dad looked over us and said, This is Bill Benson, an old colleague of mine. Bill looked at me and Kate, then back at my dad. John, is there somewhere we could talk privately? In my office. Are you okay? I don't know. They walked away quickly. Kate and I waited for them to come back, very curious about what was going on. She seemed to remember him, just barely, from back in Albany. She must have been around four or five. We kept looking down the hall to Dad's office. The door. Yes, Spencer. No There's words no possible to make. All After right, I'm, what I'm, felt I'm like half an hour. She led me upstairs, situated right above Dad's office, and then pointed to a vent in the corner. From it, we could hear them old con. They were speaking in jargon, a lot about oscillations. After two to three minutes, I heard Bill Benson shout, You can't hide. You have to f My dad replied, sounding more nervous than I had ever I don't know why you went back. I got up from the floor quickly, hitting my head on a shelf with a loud thud. I heard the conversation stop. As me and Kate walked as quietly out of the room as we...
we heard footsteps downstairs. As we and Fed walked into view. How much did you hear? He asked. I replied. We were there for maybe five minutes. He told us to sit down at the table. We went back to the dining room. Bill Benson sat too taking some old notebooks off the seat of his chair and putting them on top of the cluttered side of the table. Dad took a deep breath and started to speak. Kate? Robert? I have some things I need to explain. He seemed very shaken up, but he was pushing through it to the best of his ability. You know how I've said I were experience when you both were... When I told you we failed, that was a lie. It worked, better than anyone could have expected. But there was a problem, a big problem, and now we don't. We think about it as little as we and we never go back. That's why we moved from all the Now, Bill's problem, he sh shouldn't have. We, no! <laughs> we can't <laughs> Just start it again, and I'll get back going. Oh, okay. I, I, I turned it off for me, because I actually started getting a little creepy. That, that's the point, you fat. It's a creepy Oh, this is too creepy. Let's, let's make creepy bosses happy. <laughs> let's make creepy bosses happy. <laughs> we can't get ourselves back involved. He looked at me and my sister. For your own good, don't try any detective work. Live like I live. Live like nothing ever happened. Those of us who ignore the past are fine. Now we're going to eat dessert like nothing happened, and we're going to forget. Okay? I knew my head was filling with questions. Bill looked over at Dad and... I can't just leave it like this. I tried for years. We have to say Emily might be out of fire dead. My wife is dead. She died. Bill started to speak. If you want to stay for dessert, stay. But if you try to dredge things up that are meant to be house, I've never seen Dad act like this before. Boo looked at him and said, I, I'm sorry, John. He got up and walked through the adjoining living room and out the door or into the... Dad took a deep breath and didn't speak for... Then he spoke. I'm sorry you had to see that. There's nothing to worry about. I'll get out the pumpkin pie. We ate. The pie in silence. A few weeks later, after I had gotten over the shock of that night, I did some. At first, I couldn't find anything referencing him from within the past ten years. I found an old web page for a university that listed a William C. Benston as a. Prof the photo was definitely him. I ran the photo of him through face recognition. The first was old. How does he have access to Facebook? How does he have people. access to Facebook? Yeah. Uh, was on the left, looking much younger. His hair was neat. He was wearing street clothes, also neat. On the right were two women I didn't recognize. They were the oldest of the group. In the middle were my parents. Dad, who looked nearly the same as after all these years. And Mom, who I only remember from pictures. Above them was a banner saying, Happy New Year, 85. The photo was taken a few months after I was born. He looked like he had on Thanksgiving, but his hair was grayer and longer. The photo had marked with a flash, making the background hard to make out. The thing about the picture was the look of absolute terror on his face. I closed the photo quickly. 
I say from the same source two photos is the only post there were no dates posted on the post whoever made the blog must have disabled them from as the weeks and months went by I tried to forget it all that happened whenever I did think about it I found myself of fear and curiosity forgetting over time became easier I got the job in ten booking in a residency at the big hospital we never talked I assume she was trying to for dad never said anything about it. he was completely normal I took up photography as a and was becoming pretty Four years after I met Benson, the family got back together. I flew up. You're cutting out. My son. It felt strange entering the old house. The memories flooded. I was the last to arrive. The large dining room table was cleared of the clutter that had fell, f filled much of it in the past. I realized I was later than I thought, as Thanksgiving dinner was nearly underway. I sat on the last untaken chair, the same chair Bill Benson had sat on. Any anxiety I felt began to fade after a few minutes. It was nice. I was with family. Dad was chatting about the going-ons at MIT, his research, the usual things. I occasionally thought I heard some noise, nervousness in his voice, but it was too subtle to really tell. We ate pumpkin pie. The next day, I... two months later, I got a call from Kate. Dad had disappeared. He hadn't been coming into work. He wasn't at his house. His car was in his driveway. There was a search for him. I flew out immediately. They combed the area. They scoured databases. But even with his face, name, thumbprint, and retina, they found nothing. After a month, they stopped looking. He was presumed dead. I wanted to tell the police everything I knew. But they wouldn't believe me. Calling the Farnsworth experiments into it would be like blaming his disappearance on a UFO or the Bermuda Triangle. I did tell them about Bill Benson. I said that if he was alive and anyone knew where he was, Benson would. I told them he was a professor at a local 15 years ago, but I didn't remember which. They quickly found it. Bridgewater State University. He taught physics and math there for 10 years before resigning. It was clear he hadn't had any professorships after that. He'd completely dropped off of everyone's radar. The one piece of information they could find about him was an apartment he had rented five years ago. It was in Albany, New York. They couldn't get any other information. To then was a dead end. I knew Dad was alive. He must have decided to go back just like Ben. I had to find my dad and try to pull him out of whatever he was putting himself in. On February 16th, I decided to find Benson myself. In early morning, I packed up my luggage and checked out of my Boston hotel. I scraped the ice off the windshield of my rental car and set off towards me. I didn't tell anyone where I was going. The drive was a little under three hours. When I got there, I checked into another hotel. I used a fake name. I don't know why I did it. It just felt like the right thing to do. Later, I made my way to his old apartment, bringing my camera with me. After a short drive, I found the building. I parked and walked in. I made my way to the main office. And... Can I help you? Said the woman behind the desk. Yes. Can I ask you a few questions about someone who used to live here? Is it about William Benson? She replied. Yes, it is. I told the police everything. I don't know where he went when he moved out. Are you a detective? No. I'm John Bowen's son.
to his old next door. He lived in apartment 108. The people in 107 still live. I hope they find your father. I thanked her and left. After a quick look, I realized the hundreds were the big. I walked down a short flight of stairs and into a long hall. 107 was easy to find. I knocked on the door. The residents were a couple in there. I met Kimberly and Al. I talked to them for a few minutes. They saw Benson as kind of a nut. They barely talked to him, besides greetings in the hall. As I was about to leave, Kimberly seemed to remember something and told me to wait. She ran into the apartment and came out a minute later with a small tape shut cardboard box. He told us if anyone trustworthy came looking for him to give them this, she said. <clears throat> and it was a old looking cell phone, a photograph, and a few pieces of paper. I looked at the photograph first. I knew that photo. It was the New Year's photo I had. I thought of the day Bill Benson came to Thanksgiving dinner and what he had said. I took a deep breath. I looked at the papers. She had the cell phone. It turned on. I opened the list of contact. Only one was listed. It was cell phone number under the name call. I did. It rang once, twice, three times. Then I heard a voice. Who is this? said the phone. It's Robert Bowen, I replied. Good. Meet me in half an hour in Washington Park. I'll be by the fountain. The call cut off. I knew it was Bill Ben. I remember his voice clearly. I put the contents of the box in my camera bag and then made my way by foot to the park. After a bit of wanton distance, snow lightly fell. As I, as I got closer to the fountain, I realized it was all shut up. <laughs> so you get close to the mountain, I die. Everyone just cut out. My internet message just died. Okay. Okay, now it's back. It appears that's off. We'll can story tomorrow to figure out the myth of where his dad has disappeared. Yeah, thanks guys. Thank you for watching this Minecraft podcast type thingy kebab. Oh my god, my mus my eyebrows. It's majestic. Why the hell did we read that while you were playing Minecraft? I don't know. But now this to make mining a free having hell. Bye everyone. Like and subscribe. Because we're retarded.